guys, Amy from Self Love Mama. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some kid friendly fall activities that me and my family have been enjoying this fall season. So I wanted to share with you five fall activities that me and my family have been just really enjoying. A couple of them we haven't even done yet, but it's on our bucket list. And if you guys have any fall activity ideas as well, make sure you comment them down below. So the first activity we've been totally loving is just going on walks. We live in Southern Oregon and this summer was rough. It was really hot, really smoky, so unfortunately we spent quite a bit of our summer inside. So we have been taking full advantage of this like fresh air, crisp, cold, cool mornings and afternoons. We have been absolutely loving it, but we have been taking full advantage of it by taking walks around the neighborhood or going on like a trail or even just walking to our neighborhood park that we live close to. And the second activity is pumpkin patch. I feel like nothing screams louder for fall vibes than a pumpkin patch. I feel like it is not fall without a pumpkin patch. I mean, come on. But seriously though, that is definitely one of our like family's favorite activity to do during the fall time is taking the kids to a pumpkin patch, especially with all the hay rides, the corn mazes, um, picking out your own pumpkin and then carving them. I feel like that is just like such a fun activity to do as a family or to do with your kids or even just with friends. I think it's just an overall amazing, super fun, fall vibe activity to do for the season. My third activity is actually something that I found on Pinterest, which I will put the blog of the free printables down in the description box, but I found these super cute little printout masks that you can cut out, that you can make cute Halloween masks out of, and the kids loved this. They loved this so much. And on the website, there was like a sugar skull, a cat, a pumpkin, Frankenstein. There were super cute ones on there, and the kids just had so much fun coloring them up. And so basically what I did was I let them color the page however, whatever colors they wanted. You could even even take it one step further and take out, you know, some tempura paint or water coloring paint, uh, markers, you know, coloring crowns, whatever you feel like how you can decorate it. You can even decorate it with, you know, fun little arts and crafts materials and things like that as well. Um, but I wanted to really just keep this activity simple. And so I just used crowns, let the kids color all they want. And then after they were done coloring, I went ahead and cut out each mask for them and make sure you cut out the you know the blackout eyes so that way they can see through um, the mask with their eyes and then another little tip is when you are printing these out I would really suggest printing them out on cardstock paper you can get cardstock paper pretty inexpensive at Michaels that way it's just a little bit more sturdier especially if you're gonna use paint or any other you know craft materials I would really suggest printing these out on cardstock paper. I literally just had some popsicle sticks and some scotch tape and just taped that baby on. I was not fancy with this at all you guys. I am telling you this was a fun activity though for the kids and they loved it because they got to you know play and pretend with their little Halloween masks that they colored and they really loved this one. My fourth activity is painting pumpkins. Now you can get any size pumpkin that you want um, for your kids to paint. I got these super cute little mini baby pumpkins from Walmart. I think they were um, this five pack for only three or four bucks, super inexpensive. And I already had paint laying around at my house. So this activity was definitely budget friendly. The kids absolutely loved it. Now you can carve pumpkins. I think that is such a great activity to do as well. Um, but if you want to do something different or add on just another fall activity, I think painting pumpkins are so much fun, especially for kids. I even painted a pumpkin. I loved it. I even had fun doing it. And the kids were just so excited to put these outside 
side with a couple of pumpkins that they picked out at the first pumpkin patch that we've gone to so far for the season. And it's just a great way to kind of showcase their art, you know, it makes them feel good whenever they walk in and out of the house, or you can decorate them around your house. I think it's a great activity for the kids to do. And kind of to go with the fourth activity would be carving pumpkins. We are gonna be carving pumpkins later here in the next week or so, and I think that is a fun activity as well. So you guys can do them both, or just one or the other. I mean, whatever fits for you and your family. And the fifth activity is an activity we actually have not done yet, and this may depend on the area that you live at, um, but we live close to an apple orchard. I really wanna take the kids apple picking, so that is my fifth activity, is taking the kiddos um, or going apple picking. I have been really wanting to take the kids this year because I feel like there's just so much more into the actual fall activities that that one is definitely on our bucket list to do this year. But make sure that you guys are subscribed because if we go apple picking, you know I'm gonna be vlogging it. So those are my five activities that I wanted to share with you guys on some fall activities, kid-friendly activities to do with your family or friends for the fall season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I am also planning to do a fall fashion lookbook without breaking the budget. So make sure that you are subscribed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment below any other fun fall activities that you like to do with your friends or with your family. Comment them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.